Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are playing our Frisian campaign, working on the two uh, achievements related to that, getting uh, the Frisian coast as long, and uh, the good old days. Uh, we're not doing too badly right now. We've got uh, Gelray. Uh, we are Gelray, so we've got these two counties and those two counties, and we've got claims over here. Uh, so that is, uh, that is moving along quite well. Uh, however, uh, our army is currently down here with our crappy son, hoping that he gets killed. So let's, uh, let's hop right back into it. Oh, they, they sure took that fast. Uh, that would be why. Well, let's see. Yeah, we're getting, uh, we're getting slaughtered, and, uh, the Fraticelli Heresy has, uh, appeared in the county of Troyes. Horrible. I have no character on that. Uh, did something happen to you? No, not really. Ah, I can't do it while uh, they're retreating. All right. And you're immediately turning around and going back that way. A uh, son was born. This is our grandson. Uh, let's give him a struggle focus. Uh, yeah, he can be named Wilco. That's fine. Hopefully he will not suck like his father. Good news, my lord. We have received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the county of Friesland. Saddle my horse! Let's go murder that thing. So I would like to, uh... Do that. Where are you going? You went over there. You went over there. Weird. The world is a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are uh, conspiring to kill your daughter, Mete. Why? Why would you be doing that? Maybe people just don't like her uh, chin. That's fine. I, I think part of it is that uh, I am a... Uh, I am paranoid. Alright, let's see if you can get killed. It's fine. Uh, I'm not getting involved in that, that's for sure. I'm 44. I do need to get going on these two. So let's see. Evro, Kernev, Mortain. Yeah, I need to get I need to get moving on all those. Can you like, you know, I don't know, finish up your war? Rickliff says his favorite toy is missing and he won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. I'll offer to buy a new one. He'll get fussy. There is no pleasing this child. I've never seen that not get fussy. You've gathered your followers and your hunting dogs, and you've saddled your horse and prepared your weapons. You're ready to set out to hunt the Great White Stag. This time it will not escape me. Would you hurry up? Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you knock, an old crone opens. When she sees you and your hunting party, she cackles eerily and says that she has a powerful potion that will make you a stronger hunter. Sure to catch any prey. Sell it to me! Only five gold. This might have unforeseen effects. This could kill me. Now nah, let's go home. This is fruitless. Ah, I get strong. Or maybe, maybe just brawny these days. You think you drink the potion down. Soon you start to feel all queasy, and then you pass out. As you wake, you have a strong headache and no desire to continue the, your hunting expedition. The old crone has disappeared, and your guards don't seem to know how or where to. I don't feel well, and I get diarrhea. That's you know, just health minus one. It's fine. You've returned to your court. The hunt for this elusive white beast seems fruitless. But there are many thing, many more things out there in the wild. Maybe next time you'll catch your prey. I won't give up. I really like that picture. I wish they had a much larger uh, scale version of that. Are you there yet? Hey, I'll ride a tithe for 26 gold now. Nice. And I can seek treatment for my illness. 
Let's go ahead and do that. Entet is worried that you are infected with the bubonic plague. He insists that you follow his instructions. No, I have diarrhea. Very well. To alleviate your pain, Entet lit three candles and had you join hands with him. After a moment of silence, he had you repeat some words after him in a language you did not understand. I'm not sure that did anything. Oh, goody. I'm just losing all kinds of, uh... I can seek treatment again. And Entent states that his extensive medical experience leads him to the certain conclusion that your symptoms... your symptoms... symptom is not due to a serious illness, and that it will pass quite soon. Nevertheless, you will receive some mild treatment. Okay. Entet strapped you to a chair and had you sleep sitting upright for days. I'm not sure that did anything either. You were no longer Marshall. No. Oh. No, oh, you were really good. Alright, who do we have? Um, well, you're really good, but you're also leading troops. Oh, uh, I don't think I actually want you leading troops there. Alright, well, let's see if we can, uh, invite a character. Search all, join court, yes. Diplo range, yes. Uh, gendermen. Oh, hey, hello, you're 55, though. That's fine. Get in my court. Excellent. Alrighty. Um, yeah, 19. There we go. Uh, you're a theologian. That's fine. Uh, my uh, council is not empowered, so that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and train troops. How long are you going to have me down here anyway? Maybe I should just go home. Oh, here they come. After a very troublesome period, your diarrhea has finally stopped. I feel better. How long did that last? I've never had diarrhea last that long. That is crazy. Oh, oh, you broke your siege. Wow. I could hear someone sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Leudbergis opening a, one of my letters. Teach her to be less nosy. Uh, she could use some practice reading. Lose 30 prestige. Well, that's her. Yeah, that's not me, so that's... I don't care about that. Alright. Ah, these are planes. You're trying to go for the mountains. Well, that's not going to go well for you. Yeah, nope. Alright, uh, I think I am going to have to go home after this, because I am just losing troops. Look, I, 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 I helped, uh, sort of. You know, not really. King Pepin of West Francia has created the Duchy of Savoy. Alright. You know what? If I just, uh, only 37, alright, that's less than half. Detach. Actually, I don't need to get that far. just need to get here. Yeah, uh, you might want to give up this, uh, this war here. Actually, uh, what is this rev... So it's just a war against a tyranny. Yeah, you are, uh... You're not doing well here. You are definitely not your father.
Your righteous struggle against the heathens has not gone unnoticed. I have dispatched a papal emissary with sufficient funds to assist you. Ave Maria! <laughs> I've done, like, nothing! I'm the ally! And I get 200 gold? I'll take it! Hell yeah! Let's build something up here. Um... Oh, so eventually I, I want to move over here, because this is a really, really good uh, duchy. So that's my eventual goal, to get over here. Um, for now, so I'm not going to, I mean, I'm going to build up these things, because uh, I guess I'll, uh, let's go with the keep. I'll get a good, good amount of stuff out of the keep. Um, I'm not going to spend my uh, tech points too much, uh, if I can avoid it. Um, if I decide to go to war against these guys before uh, grabbing Flanders, then, you know, I will, but my overall goal is to wait a while, if possible. Alright, let's go ahead and get back up there. Disband our troops. One guy died. Uh, Pope has died. Rise of the Shia. Uh, this is the Arabian Empire, so that's not really going to do anything to Africa. Alright. Uh, Pope Stephanus III the Wise has been replaced by Anastasius III. Oh, what does he have in his treasury? Uh, Bones of St. Peter. Another guy has died. Alright, let's go ahead and disband. Alright. How am I doing military-wise? Not quite up to a thousand. Um, hmm. That would be a little bit close. I think going after you would be better. Alright, let's do that. Let's declare war. Claim Kurnev. Uh, yeah, this is mine. I don't. I don't need them. I'm not going to call them into that. Actually, is it Control X? No, Shift X. Yes, Shift X. All right. Uh, I'll raise them as I get over there and pick them up. Come on. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and... I'm not leading troops in... I guess he... Oh, he's now in charge of that siege. Got it. Uh, son, another son was born. Uh, Gerdeg. Alright. He's a Gerdeg. Also. Elective. Okay, so I need to get my vassal's opinions up once this war is done. Uh, actually, in that case, I don't need those guys. Let's not uh, let's not accrue um, that. You might want to release and re-raise or something there. King. Yeah, don't go that way. Oops, shoot. Alright, I'll pick those guys up. Under pressure from a powerful faction, King Pepin of West Francia has agreed to increase the power of the council. Well, I'm not on the council, so I don't really care.
Alright, uh... Let's put you there. Um, I don't actually want to lead troops. I don't want to risk death. So, let's go ahead and pop in here and face this guy. Okay. His flanks are already falling. Well, hey, uh, I have, I have captured him. That works. Well, let's just offer peace to you. Force demands. My county. That was a nice quick war. Uh, what do you think of me? You kind of like me. You do not. If I sent you a gift, 23 gold, that would be 28. That would get you positive. I think that'll be worth it. Do I need to do anything else? No, it's not going to cost me anything. All right. Let's go in, uh, vassals. Okay, 32. If I gave you... Nah, that's only 28. Alright, well, you guys want seats on the council. Any minor titles that I could give out? That would be opinion plus 10. All right, first of all, let's uh let's see who I can just give uh um money to and where they will be. So send gift 17 gold. That's fine. I think this is worth it to uh, get my law changed. Wow, 52. Alright, that's two and that's four. So, um, I don't want to award you honorary titles there. Let's see. Opinion of me, two. You already have something, so let's go ahead and give you that. Now, your opinion of me is eight. Your opinion of me is 45, so I'm going to resign you, and you can have it. All right. Seriously, these count. Oh, that's right, those do count. Shoot. Alright, that is... That is kind of awful. Um, now, they're both close to ending, so... Maybe... They'll end pretty quick. Hopefully before anything happens to the opinions. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll make you a diplomatic focus. Come on, guys. End these wars. You've got a peasant revolt there. 97, 97. Got some more tech points. Ninety-eight and ninety-four. Ninety-seven. 99, come on, just end these wars. Duchy Berry. 
All right, now when this one ends, this might count as as being at at peace. Okay. Let's see if it does. No vassal has a negative opinion of me, of you. I'll shoot. You want a seat on the council. Alright, I did send you a gift. Um, minor titles. Well, this is my son. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Elective succession. The ruler and each lower rank vassal, i.e. the dukes, if the ruler is a king, can nominate a successor from among themselves and legitimate children and siblings of the ruler. Dukes are valid electors in both kingdoms and empires. Uh, elective succession is very popular with the vassals, but they will not approve if their liege personally holds too many elector titles. Duchy of Galray, succession by elective. Okay. I have an unlanded son, that is fine. I should nominate a, a successor. Uh, for now, well, let's see. <laughs> I could nominate the king. Uh, technically, I think the king would have a vote. I don't know that any of you are actually going to be very good. I guess for now, I will nominate you. All right. But now my domain is too big. Well, shoot. April 5th, 792. Yeah, I did forget about that. Um hmm. All right, well, I could switch over to business. I'll lose the health. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see if that'll bump us up enough to uh, get one more. Yep, there we go. That took care of the problem. Now, that does mean that we're going to have fewer troops, because now that we're down to a six marshal... And I'm not sure that I want to... Ah, but i got to take these soon. I mean, I could give stuff to my son. His stewardship is zero, though. Base two, dull minus two. Why did I not have... Uh his kids available. So I'm not always sure how that works out in those situations. Because my sons are just not very good. Well, I mean, he's coming along. Uh, the stutter, diplomacy minus one, it's okay. Fussy and idolizer, though. He's not going to turn into a great uh, warrior. Uh, young Liudbergis seems to be quick to praise the deeds of others around her while neglecting her own physical activity and development. Um, let's try to make her kind. Yeah, there we go. Kind is good. The world is a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your wife, Gerberga. Actually, I don't blame them. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Nice. Traction to disfigured. So basically, uh, whoa, honey, you got ugly fast has turned into, eh, I don't care if someone murders her. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. All right, well, I got to keep built. So there's that. That'll help with uh, our total troop count. 
A little bit, not a whole lot. Do need to get these uh, territories, though. Well, I could take them and just be over my domain size for a little bit. Um, that would negatively affect my income and stuff like that, but. If I decide not to go uh, on further wars with this character, it'd be okay for a little while, at least. <coughs> the big issue being that uh, if I start creating counts, then they're going to be voting on elective, and I don't like that. Alright, so... What would I actually need for primogeniture? Uh, let's see. All of the following must be true has conclave enabled. Holder, primary title, one of the following must be true has law, late feudal administration, or imperial administration. Or the kingdom of West Francia has high crown authority or absolute crown authority. Well, no. Kingdom of Fran West Francia would have to have uh, those. Wait, can you not go to primogeniture if you have elected monarchy? Hmm. I mean, I could always flip over to, like, seniority or something like that. Uh, I'm not really sure. They don't... The the nested conditions like that. The peasants of Friesland are slowly starting to respect my rule again. I should never let my treasury go negative. I never did. It was the other guy. Alright, so we got rid of whatever was there. So that's good. You're not over your domain size. Uh, let's see. Against the Tudoric of Lombard Revolt. Well, I gotta help you out here, because I do not... I cannot afford that. Alright, I'll accept that. How big are they? Three point four. One point five. You know I'm not gonna be able to help out with that that much. I mean, maybe I can snipe some people. Actually, no, not yet. Let's do this first. Wait, wait, wait. How many troops do you have? Alright, you're at your max. Press all claims. I can call in Burgundy. He does not have many troops, though. That's fine. That's a group up there. Oh, you've territory all the way over there, huh. Yeah, I'm gonna get vassal levy penalties. Uh, but it is about time to end the episode. Uh, so in the next one, let's go ahead and... Why am I already at 1% here? Oh no, this is a Lombard thing. Never mind. Um, in the next episode, we'll take the two counties from Evro. I'll figure something out to do with them. And then, uh, heading down to, uh, 
see what we can do about helping out uh, our ally? I don't know. We'll see. See you next time, everyone.